In the first part of Lester Holt's report here tonight, the landing gear on a 767 wide body flying from Newark to Warsaw refuses to come down. No one had ever tried an emergency landing with this aircraft in precisely this condition before. Some of the passengers realize just how dire the situation is, including an American named Greg Cohen, who sends a final goodbye to his wife and children on his cell phone. Here now, Lester Holt resumes his report. In the skies over Warsaw, Lot Polish Airlines Flight 16, with 231 on board, was just seconds away from attempting an emergency landing like no other. Across Poland, millions of viewers were watching the drama unfold on live television. And as the plane descended over the city, residents ran out to take photos. Captain Tad Vrona had spent the last hour and 20 minutes trying to lower the wide-body 767's landing gear, all of its wheels and its braking system, but to no avail. And he had no choice but to belly flop the plane with its engines acting like the runners of a sled onto a concrete runway. As you can see in this actual video shot inside the cabin, in the final moments, the passengers were ready for the worst. Air traffic controllers wish the captain good luck. And in the last few seconds, he turned to his co-pilot, just in case. I said to my first officer, I am happy that we are together. And I said, thank you. And we shake hands. I thank you. Like the other passengers, Greg Cohen had his head between his legs. What were the final instructions b before landing? Um, they had us get in ready position, you know, and they were telling us to brace for impact. You know, praying to God that everything was going to be okay. And I'm just saying to myself, okay, you know, get ready, get ready, get ready, you know, you know bracing for impact. And then it happened. Flight 16 touched down at more than 140 miles an hour. This is the moment of contact on the runway, shot from inside the cabin. And then we touched down, and the impact never came. You know, I was waiting for this, you know, like car crash. To be in an accident. No bounce? Yeah. I have to be honest, it was one of the smoothest landings I've ever had. Incredibly, it was a smooth touchdown. A miracle in Warsaw. You know, the plane came to a stop, and everybody roared with applause, but it didn't last more than two seconds. You had uh, the flight attendant immediately stand up and just yell, get off this plane now! Suddenly, there was another danger. There was smoke and a fire on the right side engine. Flight attendant Magda Gortat yelled at the top of her lungs. Get off, get up, get off to the exit. Because I was sure that, that it's going to explode in the moment. This is actual video of the evacuation from on board the plane. Passengers rushed for the emergency slides, and a few fell as they tried to run away. But emergency crews were able to douse the flames and the fuel leak quickly. The plane didn't explode, and except for a few scrapes and bruises, everyone got off unharmed. It didn't really hit me until I was off the plane. And that's when, you know, I really got emotional. That's when it hit me like, oh my God, you know, what could have been? Greg called Michelle the moment he was clear of the plane. I was just so happy he was on the ground and, you know, I heard his voice crack, which, you know, his voice never cracks. I appreciate, you know, being with my kids a little bit more and try to take a little extra time for the important things in life because, look, it could all be gone in a second. And as for the pilot who got the flight down safely, Captain Vrona became a Polish national hero. And in America, he was honored for saving 231 lives. We caught up with the captain at the Museum of Flight in Seattle. We just did our job. I am not a hero. 
But Americans on board Flight 16 beg to differ, comparing him to the hero of a miracle on the Hudson. I immediately I thought that our captain was Poland's version of Sully. Same incredible amount of airmanship. Yes. What, what would you like to say to Captain Rana? I want to say thank you. You know, if it wasn't for him, maybe 230 plus people wouldn't be here right now. And you know, I'm forever indebted to him for that. Incredible story. Our thanks to Lester Holt for that. And by the way, the investigation into what went wrong is still going on. There's more information about that on our website.